Hi everyone, it is Connie with Flourish. I am here and I am having a wonderful day so far. It is bright and sunny, a little chilly in Niagara-on-the-Lake, Ontario. Um, I'm joining you for my workshop. And today I am going to make over a little kid's desk. So it's super small. Um, it's right here behind me. You can see it's quite teeny. Um, hi Donna, thanks for joining. Um, so uh, today I'm going to be making over this little desk and I'm gonna use some of our uh, fabulous clearly aligned decor stamps. Um, which are super easy to use um, and they are um, a really great, I always like to, to think of those as a really great bang for your crafting buck because you can reuse them over and over again. And um, since today is all about the little school desk, hi Lynette, hi Brianna, thanks for joining. Um, I decided to pull out one of the new ones. It is uh, this one. It has little numbers on it and it's super cute. It is called uh, stripes. So even though it has stripes, here are the stripes here, um, it has a bunch of numbers. And so I figured since this is, hey Kim, thanks for joining. Um, since it's a kid's desk, I figured it'd be cute to add little numbers to it um, to help like a little boy or girl learn how to count. Um, cause this desk, I got it and the woman who owned it, she was, um, uh, she used it for her like five year old all the way up to her 12 year old. So it is teeny. Um, and so it's not a full size desk. So it's definitely targeted at a younger um, person. Uh, oh, thanks Kim. I actually did my hair and makeup today. So, uh, I'm looking a little fancier than normal. Um, but, uh, the desk I got, it's, um, I think it's made of oak. And um, I painted it last night and I used Fusion Mineral Paint in a combination of colors. Um, it was this kind of coral color that I blended, um, uh, uh, a color called coral, um, in with white to kind of um, tone it down. Hey Roz, thanks for joining. Um, and then I also used blue. So um, this little, I also mixed this, it's a custom mix um, of white and the Midnight Blue and Liberty Blue by Fusion Mineral Paint. And then I used the Divine Lavender. So it's a combination of like kind of a pinky coral, uh, purple, and then Hey Lynette from Napa and blue. Um, so I painted that yesterday. I actually made it try to look like a sunset that I saw recently um, here in Niagara on the Lake. Um, and it was absolutely beautiful. So the sunset was kind of a peachy pink coral and then it had some um, elements of like lavender and then it had the blue sky above. So that's sort of, that was my inspiration for um, the color choices here. So if you're just joining us, just drop a line of where you're from and um, say hello to everyone. Thank you for joining on a Saturday. Um, so, okay, so let's get go ahead and get started. So this is one of the drawers. There's two little drawers on this desk. So they go like this. And this is the top drawer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put little like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on these drawers, like I said, um, cause it is a little kid's desk and <clears throat> I want to, you know, provide a little learning experience for whoever gets it. So this is the clearly aligned decor stamps. Um, oh, hello from Cologne, Ger uh, Gerda from Cologne, Germany. Um, this is the Clearly Aligned Decor Stamps. I don't know if you've ever used them before, but they're awesome. So they're made of silicone. They're, um, they're bendy and uh, they're clear on one side and then have like kind of a pink color on the other so you can see where you're placing them. Um, they're awesome. I love these things and they wipe clean with, um, you know, soap and water or if you have like a little, you know, wet wipe or something like that, you can clean them. Um, hi Fagan from Istanbul. Oh, cool. Awesome. I love the global feel. Um, so anyways, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you take, I'm going to use this little one, um, so you can see where I'm placing it. I'm going to place it right in the corner like that. So what I typically do is I use little rollers, um, and you can get these also on the redesign with Prima because they're really great rollers. And I just take a little bit of paint on the roller. And then you don't need a lot of paint. So, um, with these uh, stamps, you don't need a ton of paint to go, you know, a long way. So just take the little stencil here, or excuse me, stamp here, make sure that it's the right side, roll a little paint on like that, 
and then take your piece and then place it down and you can see where you're placing it which is awesome and then add a little bit of pressure not much you don't actually want to add a ton of pressure otherwise the um, the stamp kind of squishes down so that's what it looks like so it's a one so that's easy peasy so let's do number two so this is the second one or number two and then we're just going to put on a little bit of paint make sure it's not too much paint make sure it's all over so it looks like this all right and then i'm going to try to mirror the placement Add a little bit of pressure. And then it should be good. Awesome. That's what it looks like. So one, two, easy peasy. Now I got a little bit of paint outside where I am or where the I want the paint to be. So I'm just gonna wipe it off really quick before we move on. And uh, just make sure you're not smearing your where you placed your number. So that's what that looks like. So one, two. All right, now let's get the other drawer and let's do three, four. Again. And these um, these st or stamps come on this like hard backing plastic and don't throw that away because you can reattach the um, little pieces to it so they like stick on and you can stay organized. I made that mistake the first time I got it. I threw that part away. Um, and then, I mean, if you do, or if it's get, you know, paint on it or something like that, you can put it like in a little Ziploc bag or something, but, um, you know, just to make sure you're, um, kind of staying organized and not missing all any of your pieces. Okay. Let's do three. All right. And you can use any kind of paint with these stencils or excuse me, I keep saying stencils, these stamps. Um, I'm using Fusion Mineral paint, um, but any paint will, will do. Um, and again, the key is just to do a thin layer. You don't need a lot of paint for this. And you can use a brush or even your finger to apply the paint. I just like these little rolly um, things because they're, they, you know, don't, they don't add a ton of paint onto the stamp. Okay, so just add a little bit of pressure. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, hey Rose. Um, are they easier to use than stencils? Um, I would say they're about the same. Uh, the benefit of having a stamp is you can place it, you know, and you can, like all the pieces and um, that come with the, the stamps are separate. So I can put these numbers in any order I want. So like, say for example, if you wanted to like write somebody's birthday or if you wanted to, you know, do a sign for your front door and do your address or something like that, you can move these numbers around so you can do whatever, you know, number you want. Or if you have flowers or whatever, you can do a bouquet or you can spread them out. So it's a little bit more, I find a little bit more versatile than the stencils. So, um, but that's, you know, my experience. So, so here's what it looks like. So, and that took like no time whatsoever, right? One, two, three, four. All right. Now I want to do, um, I want to do the sides too. So sides of the drawers. So let's add, let's just make sure y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right. So we're now on to five. So let's go to five. So that's a great question, Rose. Hopefully it answered, um, or at least gave a perspective uh, you know, if other folks have used this, the stamps and you have an opinion on that too, um, feel free to shout it out. So, okay. So again, just adding the five here. There we go. Five. How cute. All right. Now let's go to six. I can just imagine a little kid sitting at this desk coloring or 
you know, doing homework or live Zoom meeting school during the pandemic. How cute. Okay, and then let's do the other. Okay, so that's five, six. How cute. All right, let's do seven and eight. And this little desk comes also with like a little pullout um, writing shelf. I'll show you that too. It's really cute. It's a really well constructed little desk. It had um, wax all over it because the woman who I bought it from um, sells the Scentsy candles. So um, if you ever, you know, encounter wax on a piece of furniture, you have it. Um, you know, just make sure all that's gone before you paint over it. Otherwise, the paint won't stick. Okay, so let's do, let's just make sure y'all can see. Make sure it's the right way. Okay. There we go. Um, these stamps are also uh, food safe. So if you're a baker, or if you're a candlestick maker, <laughs> um, you can use them on cookies and stuff like that if you wanted to. Um, cakes. So anyway, so that's what that looks like. Super cute. So we're done there. Um, all right, and here's that little tray I was telling you about. Um, and I think I am gonna add numbers to here, but since y'all have already seen the numbers, I'll move on to flowers because that's probably more interesting. I'll show you a different one. Um, again, the stamp that I was using here was called Stripes. Um, it has lots of all the numbers, so it's one through zero, so you can add, um, you know, any kind of number that, or any number you want to it. And each of the pieces are separate, so, you know, they're flexible to, um, to do whatever you need or be whatever you want. Okay, cool. So this is another stamp, and I just washed it. So to wash this one, um, I just ran it under warm water. Um, and so that should be good. And of course you can air dry it. I used a little pan here to, um, to dry mine. Uh, but if they are still wet, of course, make sure that they're um, dry. Otherwise your paint will run. You don't want that because you want crisp lines. These have a lot, these are very intricate. So if you look at these, these are flowers. And again, you can see the pattern on one side. So, um, and the other benefit of these is they are flexible. So if you have to like curve around, say like, you know, a pot um, or a bowl or something like that, and you want it to, you know, curve around, it can bend. So that's really easy peasy. Um, all right, so what I wanna do here is I want to kind of create on this side, I wanna create sort of like a just a flower garden here um, using the, the colors um, on the on the piece itself. So let's just go ahead and continue with the blue. Um, so I'm just gonna take one of mine here and of course make sure it's the right side up um, and sprinkle a little or you know, rub a little paint on it. And this one, I think I'm gonna actually do a couple colors. Kind of want it to look a little bit like a hydrangea um, so you can do multiple colors on one, just kind of blend them together. And again, not too much paint. So let's go ahead and stick it like right here. Okay. And again, just add a little bit of pressure, make sure that it is, um, evenly applied across the stamp because you don't want to you know, pull it away and you're missing, you know, a, a portion of the, the shape, the pattern that you're trying to stamp. So, okay, I just kind of check it and then there you go. Hopefully you can see that. I'll bring this camera up a little bit. Sorry for the jiggling of the camera, but I just want to make sure that you're seeing it. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Let's pull this desk a little bit closer. Can you see that? Hopefully. <laughs> and again, you can use, you know, any color to whatever you want to use. Okay, so let's just move this a little bit down so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, all right, so 
let's do a different flower. And these flowers come in different sizes. So this one has a ton of pieces. It has like individual leaves um, and various different size flowers. So, you know, depending on what you're working on, this one has, um, you know, a lot of options in terms of sizes, this, this one. Um, if you are interested in purchasing any of this, any of these products, I'll link them below. So you don't have to guess which ones they are. I'm using a little bit of green. Let's see if I can pour this without spilling. Okay, and this is um, the little like um, application tool that comes with the um, roller pads that are on the Redesign with Prima website. They're great. I'm using this, um, this roller is a Bennett roller, but the rollers that from Prima are, are much better. Okay, so there we go. Okay. There we go. Um, how do you get them? You can find a retailer. Um, uh, Kim asked, Chris is asking about the stencil slash stamps. How do we get them? You can get them from your local redesign with Prima um, retailer, which is the list is located on the website. So if you go there, you can find them. Um, I also have a um, affiliate link on my webs or excuse me, on my Facebook page that you can order from. Um, it's under like it's the it's the post that's tagged at the top of my um, Facebook page. So it's really up to you how you want to either you know find a local retailer and um, near you or just order online. Okay. Here's another one. Super cute, super cute. All right, let's do, I'm just gonna do a couple, you know, um, different sizes so you can see how they look. And I'll do them with a little bit of white as well. Can I get a variety of colors in here? Okay. And these are, you know, I, I have found that I pull out my stamps quite frequently whenever I'm thinking about like a subtle pattern or something even like if you wanted to have like this as a background and then lay over a transfer on top, that's also, um, you know, something you could do or the opposite. You can put a transfer on the base and then put... Um, you know, the, the, the stamps over them. So it is, you know, a pretty versatile product. You don't have to do one with, um, you know, you can use them in conjunction with other things, other products. And one thing I do want to try um, here is actually, or not here, but um, at some point, is a um, combination of like put some maybe sparkles or something in the paint and then um, stamp some sparkles on there. I think that might make, look neat. Okay. There we go. Again, want to make sure that you're hitting all of the Stamp. There you go. How cute. All right, let's do some leaves. So here's just some individual leaves. I think this one needs some leaves, some green. This is actually a new color. Uh, Fusion Mineral Paint just came out with this color. It's called Jenny's Green. It's very cute. Okay. And this is, again, this is the part about this that I love is it comes, this one in particular comes with all these little 
flower um, component. So you can kind of build your own flower. So it has like, you know, little pieces like this, that's a leaf. So if you wanted to just, you know, add a little bit of a different color, like a green, like for to here, for example. There you go. Cute, cute, cute. Um, let's do another leaf. So here's one. Okay. Let's do it over here. Adorable. So that's what we're ended up looking like, which is super cute. I think we might need a few more flowers. Um, and they come in a variety of sizes. So it goes from like small, medium, large. So this one is very versatile. Like I said, this is the first um, stamp that I got when they um, launched the stamps, they being redesigned with Prima. And um, I've used it several times. And to keep them clean, um, sometimes I use um, like a green scrubby brush. The ones that you use like, you know, when you're washing your dishes, um, very gently to make sure that I've gotten all the paint off. But I've seen others who just, you know, use a little um, wet wipe or just rinse them under the water. They're not dishwasher safe, so don't put them in the dishwasher. I thought of doing that, but it's clearly labeled. Do not do that. Um, here's another one. I want to fill in some of these gaps. So let's do, here's a little one. Okay. All right, let's grab some white. And I like doing a variety of colors. Um, you can just do one if you want on your piece. Just really, I mean, creativity, sky's the limit. All right, now let's get some other little pieces. Fill in some gaps. There's one that I love, I can't, oh, here it is, okay. So here's a little one. Hey Sue, thanks for joining. Here's a little one. So let's get maybe some purple. Okay. Again, not a ton of paint. You can brush the paint on if you so choose. Um, I find the roller works better for me. Um, let's do this one over here. Okay. Adorable. Maybe let's do another one over here in a different color. And if you layer on paint um, to the same little piece, uh, you know, kind of some of the, the previous paint kind of comes through, so that looks cute. Adorable. Oh, it's so cute. Um, let's see, maybe one more. All right, let's get, let's do white. Okay, there we go. Some green. Okay. There we are. And as you can 
see, you can make like any pattern you want with this because all of the pieces are separate. If you want more or less, you know, it's really up to you. So here we go. So that's what it looks like. There we go. So I intend for this one to actually add a transfer over top um, once this dries, but it's a new transfer that's coming out in uh, mid-April. So you'll see that um, you know later this month. So it's a little teaser that we're coming out with new products. Um, and it's super cute. And I think you're gonna be surprised by the size of the transfers. Um, hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea of a little piece, little transfer. Um, and uh, so yeah, so more to come on this piece. I'm not gonna do the full reveal until later in the month. But um, hopefully you learned a thing or two about stamps. Um, again, today I used the uh, stripes stamp for the numbers. And I can't remember what this other one is called, but I will link it below so you can see it. If you have any questions about how to use stamps, please um, let me know in the comments or contact me directly. My name is Connie Holden. I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima, and my business is Flourish, Your Space Thriving. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook, um, and I will be coming to you live every Saturday at noon, so you'll see me next week on a different project. Um, do I finish with varnish? So yes, yeah, so once I'm done with this, I will, um, you don't have to, with Fusion Mineral Paint, you don't have to top coat it, but since this is a kid's desk and it's gonna be used a lot, I am gonna top coat it. Um, all transfers require a top coat, either wax or um, a, uh, a clear top coat. I use Minwax Polycrylic for my top coats in the matte finish. Um, it's a great, it's, I, I spray it on and it leaves, you know, no brush strokes or anything like that. Um, it's a really great product. It's water-based, but, um, of course let this dry for, I typically let my pieces dry for 24 hours before I top cut them. Um, and then you should be good to, to use the product or excuse me, the, the piece, you know, as you normally would. So any other questions, um, feel free to ask now or, um, you know, ask as a follow-up. I'm here to, to help you use these because they're, they're really great. So Sue, Kim, anyone else watching have any questions? Rose, Lynette, Brianna. Okay. Well, uh, everyone, I uh, thank you for joining. I appreciate your time and um, I will see you next Saturday. All right. Bye, everyone.